Okay, good morning, everybody. Today's topic, we're going to continue in the middle of Sukkot um, Zimra. We are on page 143 at the bottom. The Chashivas of Mizmor, Tehillah, Ludavid, V'chavan Asaf. This is a fascinating topic. The reason why it's a fascinating topic is because it really, we encounter it every single day. Every single day we have to deal with this uh, opportunity, this challenge that, we, that confronts us. The question is, what exactly does it mean? Why is it so important? And uh, in the event there might be a slip-up, how, how do we deal with it? So here we go. Comes along the Gemara. We'll start, we're, we're going <clears> to <throat> find a uh, fundamental principle in the Gemara that says, Amar Rabbi Lazar, Amar Rabbi Avina, Kol Omer, Tehillah, Ludavid, a person who says which by the way if you take a look at the Lashon Chazal although we call it the vernacular Ashray that's not how Chazal called it Chazal referred to it as Tila the David and remember precisely three times a day is Muftachlo Muftachlo a guarantee a slam dunk so who he is being Olam Haba so the question is what exactly does it mean why is it so important right okay. so we fulfill this uh, mandate from the Gemara how Today. When when do we incorporate it? Twice in so we say it twice in chakras, and then we say it again when we say it again in mincha. Now, it's also interesting. They did not want to put it during mariv. They felt it had to be done during the daylight hours, and therefore we needed to how we say you know say actually twice in mincha. Now we're going to say it twice at chakras. Now what's interesting is um, the. Uh, importance of it. And we're going to see that it's going to have a, a primary positioning in terms of the uh, impo- the chashivas of such a tefillah. So take a look. My time. So question is, what's the rationale behind why tefillah dove is important? What's the rationale? If you want to tell me it has the entire alpha beta, the entire alpha beta, name so what? So it's Ashi Timi Derech. Now, Ashi Timi Derech, for those that don't know, it's Perak Kuf Yotet in Telem. Now, in the end, we don't do Kuf Yotet in Telem, which is, has an advantage. Do you know why? Because it's super long? Because it's every single letter of the Olive Bay is eight times. So that would be super duper long. Now, instead, but the question is, if you want to tell me, and by the way, this is... It's the whole concept of Rosh the entire Alef Beis demonstrated the entire majesty of Yerush Baruch God's whole world was created through speech, writing words. So there's something in terms of Rosh the entire Alef Beis. And the question is, however, the entire Alef Beis. That's why it's so important. We have another parak of Tilim, perhaps if we see that it's, it's so valuable. No, no, no. That should be Bismay Alef That's even better. After all, in Perak Kuf Yotas and Tilim says it eight times. I assume eight is better than one, right? Because, perhaps it's because of the Pasuk Again, let's understand this idea. We, we, God opens up his hand, he provides sustenance. That's an important Pasuk. Wow. But there's another Pasuk that's very similar to it, and that is. So Halal Hagadol is the Kilulam Chazdo paragraph that we say on Shabbos morning. That's Halal Hagadol. So we have this concept, Posech Hashdacha, in Halal Hagadol. So therefore, maybe the Kilulam Chazdo paragraph perhaps is more important than Ashrei. No, no, no. What makes Ashrei so important? Mishun, the East Bay, it has both of these components. It has both the other base component and it has this. Mazbiya lechol chayratzon, no silnach and lechol basar, Kilulam Chazdo, has this dimension of the Kadosh Baruch who provides sustenance for all living creatures. Okay. Now, because of this, the the Talmud Rabbeinu Yona, take a look on source seventeen. The Kimin Shikar Mirasa Humi Pnei Zeh Pasuk, meaning Pasuk Hashdecha Lo Udia Gvuro Sachlos Baruchu Shu Zan Mikarni Raimim Vaad Batekinim, because God provides literally from the creepy crawly guys, right? And so Omrim Hagonim Shetzarich. This is not a Dina Gemara. This is said by the Gaonim Shetzarich Lachavin Bamiraso Vim Lo Kiven Zarich Lachzor Velomer Pamacheres. That a person is obligated to, in fact, have a sense of kavana, intent. You can't just say the words, you should at least, by definition, at least understand every word that you are saying, at the very least. Vinira shafa pishalo kivin bikulo, kivan shakivan pasuk zeposecha shadecha sagile bachi. Meaning, let's, the entire paragraph, come on, have kavana for a whole paragraph, that's uh, quite challenging. But at least, at the very least, for that one pasuk, for that one phrase, since because that is perhaps one of the essential dimensions of Ashrei, therefore we need to have bare minimum 
kavana during the pasuk posech shdecha, and of course Rabbi Arzkov, if I'm not mistaken, right, has a little side there, right? I think special intent right, has some uh, some comment in, in there. So, question is, what happens if you don't have kavana for posech shdecha? You say posech shdecha like you say b'chol yom avrachka, right? What do we do? What are the ramifications? Again, this is in, this is theoretical. This is not practical, right? Nobody does it. No one doesn't have. Everyone has kavanah for That's a given, right? But we're gonna say, let's say one time, you you know, you're you're rash, you're you're a little bit late. Okay. I'll be Mordechai Friedman, by the way, who's here visiting. I wanna mention he he should be given this year, not me. <laughs> Uh, so here it says, <laughs> Guess what? If you do not have kavana, you must repeat it again. Exactly what you need to repeat, we'll see in a minute. Right? But you need to repeat it again. So uh, we finish saying Ashray. I'm like, oh, I said, like I said, everything else. It says the Shulchan Aruch, you must repeat. But. If you think you only need to repeat one line, I, I'm not even sure. I don't know if Arsko even says this. I don't know. Anyone know? Did Arsko say it? Comment on this? Whether you have to repeat it. Can you repeat it? I'm not so sure. So. I'm not sure. So it comes on the Mishnah Mura, uh, and, and, re- and, and actually he quotes, it's not, it's not from him. He actually quotes the Chai uh, Adam, who quotes the name of the Lavush, that Shtarich lo mor mi pasuk poseach ad sofa mizmor. So, right? Poseach es yadecha. And until the very, you cannot take that one pasuk in and of itself, you must repeat the entire paragraph. You have to have, and, you have, to have yeah. kavana more than everything else, or just have kavana? <laughs> right. So, what if you have good kavana for everything? Yeah. You still have good kavana for everything, I imagine that's it's sufficient. Yeah, I, what we need to do is we can't recite, because at the end of the day, if you don't have kavana for people, we don't repeat anything. Yeah. Right? What, what the intent of the halacha, I believe, is, is that specifically for the pasuk, poseach es yadecha, we should pause for a second and say, wait a second, what do these words mean? What does this entail? I'm not saying we need to have like the, the Kabbalah of the Zohar Kadosh, right? If we need to have, you know, uh, you know the, and to say every word trying to reach the, uh, you know, the, 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 the Kisei Kabbalah, right? But I think just simply we should be more conscious when we start the Pasuk exactly what it means, what it entails. So is that why we repeat anything? Why not just repeat the Zohar Kadosh if that's all we can say? So I think because we, because we don't want to take it out of Seder. I, I didn't see, I wanted to check the Chaitam, and of course I, I forgot to. Um, but I, I think that's, to just take it out of the context, I think is, is problematic. I think they wanted to say Kisei by the end. Yeah. Is that why we... Maybe it? because it's juxtaposed, perhaps, with the with the puzzle that's after it. Sadiq Hashem? I'm not sure. Is that why we, like, have to explore during that? Sure. Again, right, exactly. Kavan Yasera. That would definitely help. So, okay, take a look at 20 here. <laughs> The Ikar Hakavana, the the the, the Piske Chu, I think, deals with your question, if I'm not mistaken. Vigar Hakavana Shiavim Beper Shamilos. Right, I mentioned this before. There's Baruch Hu Mashkiach Harbi Yosav Farnasan. Right, that, just simple. Under dictionary definition here. Right, what is the dictionary definition of these words, which are not such the most difficult words in in Yivrit? Ubisfarim Kasvu Halinyan Liten Tzaka B'Shas Amiras Pasuk Zeh. Different times we see various sources that you got to give Tzaka. Right, throughout the uh, throughout the Tefila. Oh, tefillin. Oh, there we go. You have to, uh, a person should touch one's tefillin. Velisa inayim lamarom. Not just that, but look, uh, a person should cast his eyes heavenward. Right? Uh, look at this. Even perhaps to raise one's hands. You see this faradim. You see this faradim. Mm-hmm. Right? Where they literally posech es yadecha. I have to stay this way they could perhaps like invoke God. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> right. you've, seen, uh, you've seen him. You can ask Rabbi well, Bitbull. You, you see, next time you say Rabbi Abitbull, you could, uh, you could ask him. Okay, next. Okay, stand. This, this is important. We know that sitting in Shul, the Rabbi mentions, um, <laughs> by the way, the, when we say the word Ashrei Yoshve, what does the word Yoshve mean? So it's often translated as sit, but it probably doesn't mean sit. It means to dwell. We see this, by the way, by... By, by sukkah, right, by sukkos, teshvu, right? doesn't mean you have to sit in a sukkah, you have to dwell, you have to live in a sukkah, right? That's an important uh, dictionary definition. So there's a, um, an obligation. Um, when we say ashrei yoshev esecha, although there's a mitzvah, we you know to sit in a shul is a kim a mitzvah. It's actually an uh, interesting rambam, but not for now. Um, and sitting in a shul, we know to dwell in a shul perhaps is a, is, is, is a mitzvah. That's why, right, we, want to use, uh, we can't use the shul as a shortcut. Doesn't it also refer so to what you can do is, is to sit down yeah. in, a, in a shul, perhaps there's a, there's a key, sorry? Does it also refer to Am Yisrael as being Yoshev somewhere? <coughs> which obviously wouldn't mean sitting. 
maybe it doesn't. Maybe I made that up. Fine. Okay. Onward. <laughs> Confused everyone. I don't know, maybe. That means that you weren't the Yeshua Air Scotian? Oh, Vayeshua, yes. Right, that means it's well. That's clearly right. Vayeshua Yaakov. Vayeshua Yaakov does mean Yaakov Sat, right? Right? It's clearly referring to dwell. Okay. Here we go. What at what point in time do we need to do we need to actually sit? So says the We need to be sitting properly. Oh, Umdim. <laughs> Thank you. Stan. We'll see, actually, there's a... Uh, for Ashray, we're going to see... I don't know if you actually... I didn't, I didn't actually pick that far. But for Ashray, one should actually perhaps be makbid, or those very makbid, actually to sit. Even for, for Mincha, sometimes we have the habit. We have to stand. Um, there are those... Based on the, based on the Rambam, there are other sources for it. The Rav, the Rav was very makbid, not in fact, to make sure to sit for Ashray. I remember in... Uh, I remember back in, back in high school, Rabbi David, he'd make us sit for Ashray. He would tell us we can't start davening until we actually sit down in davening and begin, and begin, and begin sitting. So, <clears throat> okay. Let's, uh, source 21. Shulchan Aruch says, V'nagu l'amar k'sh'omrim baruch shamar v'rach david v'yishtabach. Those are the only three times, right? Lafuki, everything else, right? Those are the three times a person needs to stand, specifically for Brok Shamar, Barak David, and Yishtabach. Says that Rizal, and we should quote the Piske Chuva, which is in 22. So uh, we see often in the Edot HaMizrach, the Sfaradim, they actually, you will see them sitting. Whereas that, generally speaking, the, the prevailing Mirhag Ashkenaz is not to sit at those top moments, but, but, uh, but to stand. Aval Etzal Ashkenazim, Kvan Dimshat HaMinhag, Sh'omdim B'Mivarech David, and Shratayam, and Nishtabach, and Kaddish Ad-Lachar Baruch and you should be partial with Tzibor. Everyone is doing something in the Tzibor. A person should do it as well, unless, of course, one's not physically able to. And there are even are those who meditate, even stand the entire Sogit of Zimra. And perhaps there's a reference to why we need to stand. Okay. Not. Uh, Although I did mention before, in terms of the importance of, of sitting. Okay, let's let's continue. What's our time like? We still have a few more minutes. Um, Zion. While he's barashi kapsuke de zimra hu mizmore haluluka b'minuchad halulu es Hashem min ha shamayim ve halukel b'kocho kemochen. Oh, remember we quoted. Remember we quoted Rashi the la, last week. T- Tuesday. Uh, it was Tuesday. Remember Rashi. He said, "What is." Because he quoted specifically these two halalukas, which we said, therefore, we created importance. So, so we saw that last week. So, and because of that, therefore, they have greater chashivus. And therefore, again, this is not very practical, but a person who needs to skip a little bit, you have to know what you need to skip and what a person needs to recite. Abbasis Dorgut. Sorry? Again, uh, you have to help a lady cross the street, whatever it is. Yeah, that's why you're late. Al Basis Dargot Chashivut Ha'elu, or the, the Shul, the Minyan, Davins very quickly. Kasvar Gonim, She'im Adam Acher Latfila. A person comes late to Shul. Ve'alul Afsi Tfila B'Tzibor. We've said this many times. A person must recite Tfila B'Tzibor. And in order to make, ensure that a person recites Tfila B'Tzibor, sometimes one needs to skip. Right, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you what's go Ikar and what's Tafel? Sorry? Can you just go back? Yeah, no, okay, later you can go back. Later you go back. We, we, we mentioned this before. Do you have to go back? Obligated to go back to catch up? It's definitely better to catch up. There's no question. Um, but again, it could be. If, again, this goes back to remember, we try to do a chakir, what exactly the function of Pesukah de Zimra is. Mm-hmm. So if it's all calisthenics for the Amida, which said the Amida, I wouldn't go back for it. Right? I've done the preparation for it. I've done the. You know, the stretching. I've done the preparation, right? That was the... Or is it perhaps in the Fenet So, Okay, the question is, you fulfill it by a little bit, in which case maybe there wouldn't even be a reason to go back at all. The, um... <clears throat> like, if I get to Shul and, I, and they, they're about to say Shemona Esri, and I'm like, I don't... No, so, no, no. So we, we, we've said before that, that when it, for Shachris, it's different than Marv. When it comes to Shachris, you have another issue that you have to deal with. You can't just join in for the Amida. You need to juxtapose... Um, Gula Tfila. So because you have to be stomach Gula Tfila, you got to say, yeah, well, you, you've Shema. To say Shema. And you still have to go, 
So you're, you're, you have no choice. You need to you need to recite the the Berachos Shema. So <coughs> the Shat that you're, so you're, you're not, finished. You recite the Shema and Shemana. Sorry, like you can do that with the Tzibur, but like with the Berachos. Yeah. Like Berachos Kashma. Like you show up, you should show up. Yeah, you show up. So there is a machloka, as we're going to see later. If a person needs to recite any pesuk of Zimra, can a person just jump in and jump right into? Let's you put your talis and fill. Oh, sorry, your tefillah, and you jump right in. Can you actually go right into the bricha Shema, or is one obligated to say the bit of pesuk of Zimra? That will go back to the chakira that we had on the importance of pesuk of and its function, which I'm sure will be brought up at some point. But I think that even if it is something, it's, not, it's still more important to say it's really simple, no? I'm unclear. Right, but it's unclear. I mean, if you can't, if uh, Lamaisa, you can't do it, and you can sit with them later. That's okay. Twenty three. Shil mikri rav natroi. Go on. Anichnas betaknasu dumatat mit palulim vadan lo krab sogar zimra. Mahush. Oh, maybe this is it. Mahush asaki matzi bor be esak shemetzam. Kigon shemetzam be tchilat esak prisat shema. V'achar she sayem tefilato yachso v'yiz more pesuk de zimra. How much our case? Rosh shekivanta. There we go. Answer. Nishet tiknu chachamim kach tiknu lo more pesuk de zimra. V'achar kach lit falal. After all, it's based on a gemara. The darash of simla dolo misa der adam shivcho shagrish baruch hakach lit falal. V'im raat zibur mit palim ve'ein ma'akvin ve'ein ma'akvin. Kach shamanu mima rav Moshe Gon zal she. Shishamir Rabotenu, Shimivarech, Melech Mulabatish Bachot, the Omer Parsha Rishona, meaning Ashrei, Umedalag, Vomer Halalu, Kelbekocho, the Chotem, and Mamit Palamat Sibor. So that is, appears to be referring to that you must recite the bare minimum of Sukkot Zimra, which is Yishtabach. Sorry, Poshamar, Ashrei. He even mentions the last Haluka here. Did we say the third one was more important? Right. He said he he says the he says the last one right interesting right. he jumps to the last one the fifth one. <clears throat> oh look at that the rush is going to argue says the rush. Katav Rav Amram Zal Shim Nichnas Lo Veknaser Fine he quotes and quotes he quotes it he quotes it he quotes it. Oh he says you only need to say Ashrei now. Exactly how long it takes to say that fifth haluka. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure. It doesn't add too much time. But he says the bare minimum. And this is he, they're, they're, they're saying that no, a person needs to recite the bare minimum of sukkah zimra and the bare minimum of sukkah zimra because uh, right because the gemara mentions you have to be first misadir shivchol shalkadosh baruch and after that you could daven. Therefore, you need to have these three components, which consists of the bracha before and after, and tzol david and ashrei. The kasvu b'shem. Harizal, Shi'im Amru B'Shem Rabbosenu. So it says that Rizal, right, quotes the Shi'im Nichnas B'Sha Shashas Matru Yotzer. Ah, the Eino Shalomar Philim is more David. And this is exactly what Ariel was saying. You, you just can't recite the Zimra. You're just not going to make it. Right? It's the 630 minion. Right? You're lucky if you can make it on a regular day. If you need to recite those three additional things, it's like you're just not going to make it. Right? Tovu Shi'ikra Kriyacha Berhoseha Mitol and Sibor. Vachar Kachikra Psegrizim. Ah. See, I knew it was a machlokas, right? It's machlokas. We see here there's a machlokas. So the Rosh says you should do the Mirab Sakhir Zimra, quotes in the Gonim, and he brings in a Rizal. It's interesting to sometimes see how the Rizal often um, affects the Halach Lamaisa, right? And, and its impact. Um, who says, no, skip Psuke de Zimra, go right into the Barachot of Kriachman. Afterwards, the Fenevacharal, Fishat Fila Ritsuya Umukubelat. Because we need this, we have this, we have this principle, we have this dictum that says we need to dominate the tzibur. So even if it means sacrificing, so good is it. Okay. So when it says lo lam yisader, right? In terms of its chiyuv, an obligation, it's an obligation. It's important, but fill up I think that's what Arya is wanting to argue is a greater value of greater importance. And remember, if we go back last, fill up Was that last two? No, I did it last Thursday. Last week, so with Philip and Sibor. So we're of Moshe's Chiddush by Philip and Sibor, right? Uh, were you guys here th- Thursday? So, th- yeah. So Thursday, we spoke about Rav Moshe, Rav Moshe Feinstein, who said that even though the even though the halacha seems to suggest yishtadel adam, person should try. Mm-hmm. That's not in terms of. 
the obligation, because for sure it's an obligation, it's for the Torah, how much a person must matriach himself in order to have uh, in order to have an Atila B'tzibur. So again, Atila B'tzibur, um, if it's that, if we go back to, again, if we was here on Thursday, it's such an important factor that there's an additional chiyuv for it. There's mamash a chiyuv to Dham B'tzibur, so I can understand what uh, Ariel was saying. I wanted to argue how important it is to, uh, to say to Atila B'tzibur, even if it means sacrifice, because it doesn't. We brought up Olam. Adif, the bottom of uh, 145. Adif, al kol Skip it all. Al minat, So what about halacha lemaisa, right? Does, does the halacha bring this a result? So take a look at 25. So he said haluka v'harkach. So we see that the shulchan aruch sticks in the halukas. Harkach halu es hashem in hashemayim ad levnei yisrael am grav haluka v'harkach halu. Right. So again, this is not um, it's not just number five or number three. Right. Again, it's prioritized. Right. One three exactly one three five. Kol en shema v'harkach yishtabach v'harkach yotzer kriat shema berchotev yispel matzibur. Okay. Ve'im ein shar kokach. Yedaleg gam is more halu es hashem in hashemayim. Right. So again. Now we're starting to cut out some halalukas. Says the Rama, and if you're really stuck, skip all the halalukas and just say Asher. <laughs> Okay, so here, here are we, two things that are important that we have yet to see. One, it appears to be Pasukan like this Ariza that the Rosh brings, that if need be, you can skip the entire Pasukan of Zimra. And one thing that we haven't said until now is, but wait a second, you must say the Brachot first. Right? That's that last line there. The okay, so those also need to be recited as well. But you can say, you can say those Brachot after that. <coughs> yes, but I'm, 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 I'm Brachot Zator probably one should oh, say, okay. right? Beforehand, and you could say... I mean, the Evid, if you say Avarabah, you don't say Brachot Zator, mm-hmm. but definitely you should say before. Mm-hmm. Is this... You walk out in the parking lot, yeah. Like from the bare minimum, is it the same for Shabbos? Like on Shabbos, if you come in late, is it... Which, are there certain why, why would it make a difference? Oh, no, because Nishma Skochai is going to be of the same uh, importance. Of yeah, Nishma Skochai is going to be important. Um, on but, um, the Rosh and the Shulchan Aruch argue, they said, the Rosh, you do say the Brachos after. <laughs> yes, but, so he says, right, uh, who, said, who said that? Was, was the name of the, in the Arizal? Yeah. So the, the Arizal, the Rosh brings the Arizal, who argues and says you should say Pesach Rezema with the Brachos, meaning Brach Shema Nishtabach, that appears to be right, we don't, we don't. Well, you know, we'll see the Mishnah Burr for a second. I want to finish. We'll see if we can finish. Vayim Bechai Adam 26. Di'im Nitzach Elavo Yirei Akopanim Lamayit Kodem Shet Chilis Pelah Brachas Al Nitzas Yidaim. Right. Velakai Nishma Brachas Torah. Right. We said this. Vim Ken Vim Lo Hachi Tas Apri Chadash Velakai Nishma. Shelo Yomar Achar Tefila Ki Yatsa Brachas Mechai Hamesim. Right. So you can't say Velakai Nishma after davening because you're Yotze Mechai Mes. Brachas Torah Yish Deos Bazeh B'Sima Nem Zayin Im. So he's, the mission board is dealing with what exactly the brachos he's referring to. Bashkamas Abokim. Omnam yachol ledeleg al ko al shar bracha brachos hashachar. V'yom melchar tefila. Right, that's what you wanted to. That's what you're saying. Aaron. Kefish a pasuk or a mab b'sof sif. Okay. But divrei shulchan aruch ola she ein lo mar brachos shmar v'shtab b'char tefila. So we see here we do not say alachol lemaisa. We do not say brachos shmar v'shtab b'char after davening. We had an opportunity. We missed the opportunity. We don't make it up. Okay? That's what we pass on. Oh, no. Right? You gotta, just because you know you get away with it doesn't mean you set your alarm accordingly. What about if you're not going to make Shemaras Rebizman? You show up and they're saying, um, you know, Emet, right? They're saying the end of Kretschmer. There's no way you're going to make it, mm-hmm. right? So you can't say to yourself, well, I'm going to try really hard, <laughs> right? And then I'll make it, because then you lose on both ends. 
then you don't hit Tzilbet Zibur. And then you skip the Zimra. And then you... So you really get stuck. So the idea here is if you can make it, then obviously one should skip. If you're not going to make it, exactly what the red line is, I guess everyone's a little bit different. Everyone has their own red line when it comes to these things. But uh, everyone knows themselves. Because, um, again, the objective is the Amida, right? Shrenesre with, with the Tzibur. I think with the Rakim Yaspik Lagil, the Shrenesre Bizman, Ach Im Mela Macher, Loy de la Klau, then you don't skip. Okay, 27. Wow, okay. Comes on the Mishnah Bura and he says, well, wait a second. Not so fast, buddy. It's a Baruch Shamar and Yishtabach are an ancient Takana. Just to simply write them off because of Tfilah B'Tzibur is not so simple. Ach, you know you'd start with the leg of Gamre, so you call Lomar Baruch Shamar V'Ashkar V'Yishtabach, Beisha Chazin Mare Chamilos Miyotzer V'Hala. I don't know if I've ever, right? The Chazin elongates his words, right? Stretches out, schleps out the words. It doesn't really apply. Look, Kula Alma Yatsaka, for sure she do it. The Ikar Kpeta who she's Palal Tfilah Yurchasim Hatzibur Balachash. Okay, nonetheless, he still seems to say the end of the Ikar is Tfilah Hatzibur Balachash. Ach Pashu, the Chalze, but tonight, the Al Yedeze, Lo Yachser, Mitzvah Scratchma. The Dim of Warla, come on, fine. The Lord, the Chainal Mil, come on, Mitzvah, the Kanos Bishvil, Tfilah Batsibur. He's fine. Again, it appears to be bottom line, bottom line, bottom line. Tfilah Batsibur trumps, it's okay, the Zimra. Um, he does mention. No, he says we said before. Gilchut Fila. We mentioned the principle. Go to the end there. One forty-seven. Nikuda Nosef Hashem Vers B'Shulchan Arach in the Rama. He Shishana Adifus the Mizrach Tilim Shleimim Al Pnei Miras Pesukim Imilikutim. So it is better to say the full paragraphs than it is the Likutim. That's why Hodu Lashem. You never really see people. Especially the second half of Hodul Hashem, which is just a, a, a lack of the various different so came from different places in Tanakh, whereas the first half of Hodu, Nusra um, Ashkenaz, the Hodu after Bro Shamar, has a greater pri- priority to it, right? as opposed to the second half of Hodu, it's uh, a lack of, you'll see this in terms of Adifut. He actually says it straight out. Does he add Halacha lemaisa. Take a look. A person needs to skip a little bit. What are the priorities? We've kind of thrown out a number of different prakim of tehillim. Take a look at thirty-one. Let's jump to Mishnah Bura. We'll do the Yakut Yosef. We'll end there for today. Fafilu Misha Eno Ragel is Pali Matziyabor, but Tmidus She Eno Mashkim Kolkach Mikol Makom Imarlo Eze Pam Shavu B'Tzaknesas Matzas Shetzibor B'Sof Tzor Zimra Yasek Moshekas Rokan Arach the Al Kol Panim Yeshlo Liskot B'Pam Zal Is Pali Matziyabor. Okay, so you know if you have to do it once, a person still should do. Um, to the Tzibor, not such a Chiddush in my opinion. But oh, that's this is uh, Halacha and Musr all together. Thirty-two. Should be early. Should get there on time. Bid Bid Dali Brera, Kelly Pelamatibor, Emma Kaklam. 
So meaning skipping them is problematic, but if you, you know, it's opia the sod, you need to do something important about the order, but if you need to skip the tzibur, okay. Ah, I'm going, shemat at tefillah b'tzibur, nishab b'moed v'dechim, okay, this is right. Anyways, we should always try our utmost best to try to come on time to davening, and early to tefillah, this way we're able to say, so get to zimra b'nachat, and as if we, are, we said before, it's counting our money to make sure we are misled of the tefillah properly, clearly that's uh, always a priority, and if need be, we know exactly what we need to skip and how to skip in order to make Tula Vitsibor definitely a priority. Have a wonderful day.